Hi, welcome to Guy's Art Studio. Today I have a time-lapse acrylic pour for you to watch. The first thing you've got to do is level out your canvas. Put some screws in the bottom of it, level it out, put a spirit level on it, because what you really don't want to do is get that paint moving off of your canvas in a direction that you don't want it. So an acrylic pour is where we mix additives to the acrylic paint, some flow mediums and some slow drying mediums. This is so that the paint moves around, reacts with itself and reacts possibly with some silicon if you put some silicon in and gives you some interesting patterns and movements and cells in the paint. So I've worked out my composition using the Laura thirds where you've got something interesting in each third of the image. Making sure in my mind I'd work some sort of pathway for the eye to follow into the image, around and back out. I then put a few marks on the canvas and laid out some masking tape, sticking the masking tape and laying it out where the mountain line would be and also where the foreground line would be. I then moved the paint against each other with the masking tape off so that none of the canvas was showing. This was great fun, mixing up this paint, pouring it onto the canvas. But it was my first acrylic pour, as I said before. And although it's very exciting, it's pretty scary too, because uh, you got a lot of paint mixed up here and you just need to get it on there quite quickly. Here I'm adding colors to the sky and also making sure that I add the same sort of colors reflecting into the water. So the base coats need to be a bit runnier than the paint that is poured on the top because the paint on the top needs to move on the base coat. Flow medium mixed one to one with the paint. I did a very, very small amount of water to it, 10% water and no silicon in the base coat. It's really great to be able to push the paint around with a hairdryer or with the straw blowing with your mouth. So at this stage I've dragged across some horizontal lines using a palette knife and also brought down the paint vertically to create the illusion of water. This painting then took a couple of weeks to dry which was something I needed to do because I wanted to paint over the top of the image. For me, it was really important to lay out and draw out some sort of plan of how I was gonna construct the composition of this painting. Obviously pouring paint all over a canvas, you've got to try and, you've obviously got to work out where you want it and where you don't want it. And without some sort of plan some sort of map that you can keep glancing at, it wasn't going to end well. I apologise for not actually recording the hand painting part of this image, but at the time I did the painting, I, would, I didn't actually know I was going to start a YouTube channel, so I didn't know I needed to record it. In the future, obviously, I'm going to record a lot more of the process. The closing shots of the film now will be a few close-ups of the painting.
So that was my first acrylic pour. Thank you very much for watching and please hit the like button. Thank you.